Swansea City have been out in America ahead of their second season in the Premier League, but there are some notable absentees from the tour. Three of the side's star performers from the last campaign, Joe Allen, Scott Sinclair and Neil Taylor, are at the Olympics in London with the great British football team. So while Michael Laudrup and his side were playing in a 2-2 draw with San Jose Earthquakes, the trio were preparing to take on Uruguay, a source of pride for the new Swans boss. Well, I think it's 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 great because uh, I mean Swansea is one of the smaller clubs in the, in the Premier. It's not uh, Man United or, 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 or Man City or Chelsea, something or Arsenal. So I think it's 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 great to have three players, of course, from a egoistic point of view uh, to have three players. I can't have them here with me. Uh, of course, I would like to. But uh, first of all, I'm happy for them and uh, happy for the club as well, because I think it's uh, for the image of Swansea to have three players in, in that squad is, uh, is very important. If reports are to be believed, Swansea could have to do without Allen on a permanent basis. The midfielder has been linked with a £12 million move to Liverpool. When Laudrup does get his players back from the Olympics, though, he has a tough act to follow in his first season in charge. Former manager Brendan Rodgers took the club to 11th in the Premier League last season.